You don't know what to say. Kevin Webster literally lost for words. It's true. It's all true. It never lasted long. It started and then it was finished. Well, you've got a son. Congratulations, Kevin. That's no news to you, though, is it? No. How did she know it was yours? DNA. I've been walking round with my eyes closed. Look, it was dead and buried. It finished a long time ago. She found out she was pregnant. The worst turned out to be true. Oh, you poor, poor thing. I never meant to hurt you. Then why did you do it? If you never meant to hurt me, why on earth did you do it? Colin. This is Colin Fishwick, Doctor. Our daughter's partner. Hello. I'm sorry about the circumstances. Yeah, it's never on. We're with you, Charlotte. We're never leaving your side. My baby girl. Hello, can you hear us? Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tell me this is real. It's real. What's your name, my love? Rita. Am I still alive? Sounds like it to me. I'm Wayne, Rita. And I'm going to get you out of here. Help myself to some toffees. Is that what you sold? It's a bit hard to tell. How long have I been here? Not as long as it seems, probably. Now, where does it hurt, sweetheart? Oh, everywhere and nowhere. What happened? Was it another bomb? A tram came off the viaduct. But let's not worry about that now, eh? Let's just get you sorted. A tram? If I were you, I wouldn't look. My flat is upstairs. What flat upstairs? Oh, is it as bad as that? Worse. Oh. Hey! But you're alive, and that's fantastic. What is it with me and tram? When did it start? It was just... It just became friends. It was when we were running. Did you actually bother running, or was that just fancy dress? A bit of both. Where? She the motel room, mainly off the Mancunian way. And Molly did the books. In Glasgow? You both went running to Glasgow, didn't you? Or did you? She's dead, Kevin. You can say whatever you like. We didn't go to Glasgow. No, well, where did you go to? Chester. Another cheap hotel. Not that cheap. And Molly did the books. It just happened, Sal. Nothing just happens. People make things happen because they want it to. You stayed an extra night. Your train was delayed. <sighs> Sophie was looking for you on the internet. Pictures of you from the race and she couldn't find any. What are the girls going to say when we tell them? They don't need to know, Sal. No one needs to know. What are they going to say when we tell them we're breaking up? We don't need to break up. What? Look, Tyrone can't know. Why not? Oh, have a heart. He lost her a long time ago by the sound of it. Well, why cause him any more pain? Well, you should have thought about that before you started screwing his wife. Look, don't make this any worse. Couldn't be any worse. She said she was too young to settle down. Did she love you? I ended it. When? About a year ago. Why? She wanted us to run away together. <gasps> Make it sound like Enid Blyton. <sighs> she knew where my loyalties lay. Loyalties? I'm not Weatherfield County, Kevin. A year ago. Around then. <sighs> Were you going to leave me? Kevin? Yeah. So what happened? What happened a year ago? I realised I loved you. So you changed your mind? In a flash. 
So you had to go and tell her. I'm so sorry, I can't run away with you. Can't leave my wife and kids because my wife's got cancer. And that's what saved my marriage. Put a collar on. Just to see how he was. Is it all coming back? You know, the one thing I always hated about Peter was his stubbornness. You and me both. Always knows best, never be told. But it's the one thing I want him to be in there tonight, stubborn. It's funny what it comes down to, wanting sheer force of personality to see him through. Oh, I never underestimated it. A strong will, best medicine there is. I hope he's the proper stuff too. Was it the only thing that stopped you? No. I sat you down on this very sofa. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I felt more sorry for you than I did for me. I knew I'd been a fool. I knew before then. Liar. You came back to me because I was ill, didn't you? It's nothing like a tumour in your wife's breast to shake you out of a midlife crisis. You want me up? I'll admit it. I meant more to you than sex. That's all you're admitting to. Sister. Unless you loved her. No. Did you even fancy her? Oh, our marriage had gone stale, Sal. I'd miss it. Most marriages go stale, but you go from there. You just get on with it. I mean, we've been through enough to know that. Yes, but when someone's coming on to you, a girl in her 20s, flirting, letting it be known... You even try to resist her. Yes, of course I did. Some rump from the corner shop smiles at you and that's it. Me and you did nothing but argue. I had to defrost the bed before I could get in Don't it. Don't you dare blend this on me. When you told me you was ill, I needed you more than you needed uh, me. Yeah, to do your washing and your ironing. Realised you loved me. Or scared stiff. Both. <sighs> I bet you wanted me dead. And all he'd have to do is put Tyron out of his misery and should be yours. I wanted you. <sighs> Why? Was the novelty wearing off? Was she getting on your nerves already? I'd worried about that lump for weeks. And do you know why I suffered on my own? Because I didn't want to upset you. And all that time you were plotting your escape. Why did she have to tell you? Why couldn't she have spared you, you mean? Who spared you? She wanted me to know. She befriended me. I took her to the Trafford Centre. I invited her for Christmas dinner. I was there at her side while she gave birth. I sat there holding her hand while she died in front of my eyes. And you know what? I'm glad she's dead. Because a year ago that could have been me, and now it's her. Maybe there is some justice in this world. How can you say that? I can say that because of what you've done. And how do you account for Ashley? Eh? That isn't justice. That's a tragedy. Oh, well, right now, knowing what I know, a part of my wish is you died with her, leaving your three children fatherless. David, do us a favour. There's two more duvets at the top of the stairs and a few more pillows. We've also got one of them neck things for if you want to sleep on a plane. Well, why can't Graham do it? Because he's upstairs babysitting. Here he is, the man himself. Nick! Nick! Oh! oh. What do you want to drink, mate? Uh, anything. Sean? Anything. Anything coming up? What do they say? Uh, they discharge me. Minor cuts and bruises. Mana cuts and bruises, and I'm standing right next to her. Claire's in the back. How's she bearing up? Not very well, really. Brandy for the hero. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, actually, I was meaning that. That's all right. He saved a kid from a burning building. All I did was crawl out of the hole. We're staying here tonight. Not safe to go home. Have a Fifi in the flower tops, duvet. <laughs> Thanks. You heard about Rita? No. She was in the cabin. This time? Yeah, no one knew. And? Well, they've gone in for it. But they haven't come out. Oh, yeah. You've heard about the midnight wedding, I suppose. Can't have been what she was hoping for. What can you do? Maybe we should raise a glass to him anyway. Yeah, maybe we should. To Peter and Leanne. Peter, Peter and Leanne. David, duvet shifted. Oh, 
Oh, here she comes. Oh, uh, Rita. Step back a touch. Is she all right? All right. She's been driving us mad. I've never met such a chatterbox. Oh, it's a miracle. A miracle on Coronation Street. <laughs> she, she, she waves. Top of the old... What's that one? I can't... I'll go and get a girl from the pub. Put this off till tomorrow. I've already texted Rosie. I've told them to stay where they are. We're not even supposed to be here. I want them with us. We won't be putting anything off until tomorrow. And you won't be sleeping here again. Well, where will I be sleeping? I don't care, Kevin. Oh, can't we stick together just for tonight? We can survive this. We've never been closer than we have in this last 12 months. The worst thing is you're right. I was so grateful to have you. I will never let you down again. You'll never get the chance. Forgive me, Sally, please. Give me one last chance. Not in a billion years. Life's too short. And don't I know it. You've been out there tonight. I don't need that. I've got this. Don't talk to me about death. Whatever it takes, I'll make it up to you. Get out, Kevin. I'm begging you. Get out of my house. Sally, please, don't do this to me. Get out! I see Roy raise the tariff on your Eccles cakes last week. Was anyone else hurt? We don't know yet. Shall I come with you, Rita? I'm all right. No. I'm coming with you. Uh, everything's insured. When he says everything, he means the show. The only thing I care about is you. Looks like we're having a house guest, Norris. There's no escaping him. Are we ready, ladies? Rita. I don't know where I'd be without you, Norris. Heaven, probably. Oh, Norris, you must be so relieved. How many more times I thought she'd gone into town? I didn't mean that. And then having a bite, you know. Yes, it's wonderful. Isn't it, Norris? What? To go and tell the poor girl's father. Diggory loves sit down. Diggory has some terrible news. It's Molly. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? I want you to know that you're to blame. For what? A tramp falling out of the sky? For everything! Look, I know you're upset. I'm not upset. I'm absolutely devastated. So am I. Your father's dropped Tyrone off at the hospital. He wanted to get back to your son. Right. I can't raise any more money. I've made a thousand phone calls, and even without all this going on, I'm getting nowhere. It's okay. Is it? There's nothing you can do. I love him. And I want him to be with us. I know. <sighs> She'll see sense. Because deep down, I don't think she wants him. Mm, I hope so. Terrible though that sounds. We're just gonna have to hold our nerve. You know what? I've just been sat with Claire and um, I don't think I can take a right lot more of this. Right, we'll go to bed. I need a... consciousness and even if she did there's no hope of any kind of life brain damage is already too severe she was the brightest little girl we've been asked to consider switching off the equipment letting her go peacefully we think we should let her go but we wanted you to have a say our daughter 
our baby girl. What should we do, Colin? Let her go. Didn't smoke. Followed all the rules, wouldn't have hurt a fly. Try and eat a little bit of something, my love. It's never coming back. Oh, dear. Look, 36 years ago, it was my turn. Look, my Cyril had more years on him than, than your lovely Ashley. The boys, Betty? I know, my duck. I know, chicken. <laughs> the daddy's gone. Oh, look. Look, one day, my love, when they're old enough to, to understand, the be of us are proud of their dad. And I'll tell them what a hero he was. If anything, I'll have to play it down. Peter's in with the fighting chance and I walked away scot-free. All because of Ashley. I can't tell him. I won't be able to get the words out. I won't. If you want me to help you, I will. Anything I can do for you, Claire, I'll do it. Bought Rita out. Um, looks like she's going to be okay. That's great news. You fancy having kids of your own one day? Yeah, maybe. If we ever get through this. Oh, we'll get through this. Well, I've had plenty of practice. I mean, parenting. They don't come any more lively than young Simon. No, don't suppose they do. This is nothing like your own, though. It feels like he's mine, Ken. I mean, the lengths I go to for Peter right this minute. I know. I'd probably do the same for Tracy, but I wouldn't be running quite so fast. It's a harsh thing to say. You've never heard me say that. I'd swap places with Simon if he came to any harm. <laughs> Thank you. When he gets upset, or he gets one of his little ear infections, I feel it, Ken. Whether I gave birth to him or not. I'm just tired, Leanne. I'll look after him. Both of them, I promise. You know, it's Peter I was worried about where you two are concerned. Chip off the old block that he is. Since you've settled down together. Yeah, I know. You're good for him. Yeah. Mrs. Barlow. <sighs> if I let myself in for, eh? Well, we have some positive news. Your husband survived the surgery. Oh. oh, that's fantastic. Can we see him? Yeah, probably not tonight. We'd best get him settled in. So he'll make it? We'll have a better idea tomorrow. He's still critical, but we've managed to stop the internal bleeding. He's got through the worst? He's got through round one. So for tonight, let's be thankful, eh? <sighs> good kiss, chef. So could I. No, I'm not going to. I'll pop back when I can. <sighs> what did I tell you? Stubborn as a mule. <sighs> Filthy money. Tell me where and when. What are you doing here? Look at her. I know. You should be asleep. Our baby girl. Yeah. Spoke to the doctor, and he says Jack's going to be fine. Yeah, of course he's going to be. Can't abandon him now, can I? Look at him, Kev. I know. He's lost his mum. He can't have me walking away from him and all. I'm so sorry, Ty. Even when she was alive, I couldn't bring myself to wait her. You're not that sort of bloke. Got a diamond tied on. An absolute diamond. Only person I hate is him who's destroyed my family. And when I find out who it is, I'll kill him. He deserves it. I swear to God, Kev, I'll kill him.
don't you think? John may have a secret to hide, but you can go online now to itv.com slash Corrie to see exclusive footage from behind the scenes of this momentous week on the street and to discover the behind-the-scenes secrets of the tram crash.